Hello, this is Kaylee Gonzalez, and thank you for joining me for What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2023. I'm going to be introducing the 3D Experience platform to you, and then we will also be showing what's new in the 3D Creator role and XDesign application. First of all, let's start out with what is the 3D Experience platform. In a nutshell, the platform is a unified cloud environment for all Dassault Systems products. So if you look at the graphic on the left-hand side, you can actually see that all of these additional brands in are available through Dassault Systems. So what the cloud environment is doing is giving every one of these items access to more capabilities. So from a SOLIDWORKS user perspective, what does this actually mean for us? It means that you have many more powerful tools available to supplement your new or existing SOLIDWORKS designs. When we talk about the 3D Experience platform, we have access to cloud tools via a web browser. Two of the main design tools that are completely cloud-based are XDesign and XSculptor. And as I mentioned, I'll be going through some of the enhancements for XDesign in just a couple of moments. We do have the ability to connect desktop tools to the cloud through the 3D Experience platform. There is SOLIDWORKS integration. So not only SOLIDWORKS CAD, but also other products such as Inspection Standalone and Visualize have integration to load their files into the 3D Experience platform. And there's also Microsoft integration available as an option. There's also data storage available on the cloud. Now, why this is important is if you're using Dropbox, OneDrive, SharePoint to store your CAD files, the 3D Experience platform is actually gonna give you a massive leg up in that area simply because we have data management capabilities available. So not only can we do basic reserve and unreserve, basic revisioning, but this will also manage your references, which is something that none of the other cloud storage platforms will be able to provide you. We also have access to advanced tools. One of the most popular that we're seeing is access to the Simulia simulation products. So if you're doing very complicated dynamic analysis on large assemblies, you now have the option to utilize Simulia simulation. Simulia is powered by Abacus, which is one reason why it is so powerful. And yes, this is integrated with SOLIDWORKS through the 3D Experience platform. We can upload our SOLIDWORKS files to the platform and then utilize Simulia cloud computing to do these massive analysis without utilizing a lot of your desktop resources. There are many advantages to utilizing the cloud, such as reducing hardware infrastructure and IT costs. The deployment and maintenance is very simple. And we have access to the design data from any device on a web browser, whether it's a tablet, phone, computer. We also have the connectivity and communication that is really heightened through the cloud collaboration tools. We'll see this a little bit in the upcoming section. And as I mentioned, we have cloud storage and data management built in as well. When we think of our current existing products, we are used to having this full desktop portfolio of products. Now we also are seeing full cloud items as well. Where the 3D Experience platform is really filling in the niche is allowing us to actually integrate these two together. So the idea here is to have a very seamless collaborative environment. Now that we have a good understanding of what the 3D Experience platform is, let's talk about what's new and improved in the 3D Creator role using the XDesign app. We're going to see enhancements to user parameters, the design assistant, command parking, improvements to variable fillets, thread tools, the new functionality to import ECAD data using IDF file formats, and then smart mates as well with the mate helper. So as we jump into using XDesign, we're going to again see how we can communicate with multiple people at our company using a lot of these online and connected tools. 
First of all, we see a great example of utilizing X-Design on a tablet using touch screens and even utilizing a stylus. This is phenomenal for on-the-fly changes or quick design reviews. We're going to follow Dan Designer through his work on this CDU in X-Design. First, we're going to create a new component called Battery Enclosure. We're going to start this off with an initial sketch. You're going to find in X-Design that even in sketching, we have a little bit more of a drag and pull functionality. Even for sketch fillets, we can just simply drag across the corners to round them out. X-Design uses super features, which allow us to move between features very, very quickly to get the proper feature that we're using. We can use user parameters in order to update things like thicknesses, extrudes, sketch dimensions very, very quickly. Shortcuts and on-screen callouts help us navigate the interface, and command parking allows a lot of common functions to be available very quickly. When we start sketching, we can also make use of the design assistant, which uses some artificial intelligence in the background to help predict when we're going to do a lot of repetitive actions. So the idea here is to reduce a lot of rework. In X-Design, as you saw, I just grabbed a face and extruded it. I can also drag and pull variable fillets. So we're actually seeing a lot less work that we have to do with some of these features. We can drag items between screens in X-Design as a fast way to insert components. Even creating mates, we're seeing how the system can predict adequate mates in order to snap items into location. We can also go ahead and insert and mate items, such as that gasket in a single operation, and we can actually import ECAD files using the IDF format. This is something that is new inside of XDesign that we're excited to see. Now, as far as adding in the hardware, we're able to add that in once. Next, we can use the Design Assistant and Nate Helper in order to quickly add the other instances. XDesign Assemblies also now uses Copy with Mates functionality in order to very quickly add repetitive mates into this design. We can view motion in the assembly to make sure everything's going to be functioning as intended. Once we are completed with some of our design work, we can collaborate with other people in our company using the 3D Experience platform. We can manage tasks, do reviews, markups. Again, the collaboration here is actually pretty phenomenal, and this is all available through your 3D Experience platform. If we have more work we have to do, we can drag and open directly inside of X-Design. Here, we're going to actually make use of a circular pattern to add additional components to the back end portion. We can reuse sketches and other information, again, to really reduce a lot of rework even on the platform. If we're going to 3D print something, we can make use of the thread tool, which allows us to create standard threads very fast, very quickly. And we can even see what this is gonna look like in a virtual 3D printer test bed. We can auto arrange it, this will allow us to make sure everything's going to fit properly, allow us to optimize how the 3D printer is going to work. We can change some of these angles for the, the support threshold and then export it to our 3D printer itself. So this does allow us to really streamline that process as well. So as we took a quick snapshot into X-Design, we saw a lot of collaboration, how we can do reviews, a lot of designs, and we're no longer restricted to a specific type of device. This can be done on a computer, tablet, phone. You always have access to your data through any of these devices. So this was a very quick snapshot, being able to go through 3D Creator and X-Design. If you have any additional questions about what you saw or you want to take a deeper dive, please check out my tutorial, which is going to go through some of this information a little bit more in depth and at a slower pace.